Today is going to be my TPR takedown for the month of April. <laughs> If you are new here, the TBR Takedown is a game that I'm playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number down to something manageable. Eventually I would like it to be 50 books, but at the at present time I'm just trying to get it down to 100 by the end of 2021. We are starting out the month of April with 141 books, so let's get into that book haul. The first book is House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. This book follows three sisters, Iris, Vivi, and Grey, who when they were small children kind of vanished off the face of the earth for about a month and were returned later and they were found by a lady and they were naked and muddy and covered in leaves and sticks and things and had no recollection of what had happened to them prior to being found. In present day the three sisters are supposed to meet up. The eldest sister Grey is not there. She goes missing once again and the other two sisters, Vivi and Iris, kind of have to come together and not only figure out what's happened to Grey now, but what happened to all three of them in the past. This is a very dark, gruesome, interesting fairy tale. To further explain the story, I will read this last part of the synopsis to you. Darkly seductive, this twisty modern day fairy tale by critically acclaimed author Crystal Sutherland is a gripping and terrifying journey. Readers will not be able to look away. And as I have read this this month, I agree. Then hauled Act Your Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. This book follows the third Brown sister, Eve Brown, who has never really been able to hold down a job. She is very messy and messes things up quite often. And at this final breaking point to her family, they're like, we're cutting you off. You need to hold a job for a year and then we will reinstate your trust fund. But you need to get your shit together. And in her anger and driving off, she accidentally stumbles upon this bed and breakfast where they're looking for a cook. And guess what? She knows how to cook. So it involves her and the manager, the owner of the bed and breakfast, and they have a relationship and it's a love story. And it's, you know, the Brown Sisters by Talia Hibbert. How could you not love it? Then have a crazy stupid romance by Lisa K. Adams, which I believe I read last month. I don't know. Um, this is the third book in the Bromance Book Club series. The series follows men who are actors, politicians, professional sports players. There is a book club where they read romance novels to try to help them with their issues in their love life. This book follows Noah who was like the hacker from book two and his best friend Alexis who was also in book two who owns the cat cafe Tobeans and their relationship. I also hauled different editions of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, so the edition where they're like each part is in its own book because currently all I have is this guy that has all three editions in one book and it's really hard to read this. So as I have been reading these, I went ahead and picked up an easier to read format. I'm not gonna tell you what Lord of the Rings is about because if you don't know what it's about by now you're never gonna learn it so moving on. And the final book that I hauled this month is Which is Steeped in Gold by Shannon Smart. This was the Owlcrate book for this month. Um, the Owlcrate book is like all goldy whereas the original cover is more green. This is a Jamaican inspired fantasy that follows two women. Araya who is the daughter of the previous ruler of this world that they're in and Jasmine who is the daughter of the current ruler. Araya has been locked up basically her entire life um, as her parents were killed and her world was taken over and Jasmine has grown up kind of being in fear of her mother who basically killed her sister to take her sister's powers and she doesn't want the same fate to befall herself so she breaks Araya out of jail to help her destroy her own mother. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. I'm here for this. This is going to be amazing. I really want to pick this one up next month. And I will get into the books I read this month. If you want to know how I felt about these, you can check out the wrap up that will be linked in the description box down below as well as in the cards. But we're just going to go through these fairly quickly. The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R.R. Tolkien. Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. Act Your Age Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. House of Hollow by Crystal Sutherland. Lore by Alexandra Bracken. The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And Sight Witch by Susan Dennard. We hauled three books that count. We read five books that count. I had no DNFs or unhauls this month, so our new total is 139 books, which means I just need to read 39 books without hauling any more books this year in order to be at my goal of 100, which I've read more than 39 books this year. 
So it should be possible. I'm not gonna hold my breath because y'all have met me, right? That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you hit the notification bell and the subscribe button down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!